everybody and welcome back to Collins Crazy Creatures. I'm here at the Battlefield Reptile Expo in Gettysburg, PA. It's been a while since I've been to this show and this one has a lot more vendors because it's even in the other section, so I'm going to check it out. Look, it's a box of Aspen chips. Oh wait, there's a hog in there. This is a red-eyed tree frog. They are from all of Central America up into Mexico, and most of them that you'll see are from either Costa Rica or Nicaragua. And when people see them, they see, oh, it's a green frog with red eyes and orange feet. What people don't see is the blue and purple on the legs. <laughs> and because of all the cool colors, the red-eyed tree frog is the craziest amphibian at the show. This snake kind of reminds me of the cow articulated python that I saw at the NARBC reptile show. This is a regal jumping spider. This one is big for a jumping spider, and they are really cute looking, and they have binocular vision like humans, and so their eyes are in front of their face instead of on the top, and they jump, so they're called jumping spiders. And for all those reasons, the regal jumping spider is the craziest invertebrate at the show.
this is a really big and awesome looking Aki. This is a viper gecko. Viper geckos are from Pakistan and the surrounding area. They are very small and they have different scale patterns. And because of its cool pattern, the viper gecko is the craziest lizard at the show. If you have a monochrome decor, these annery anacondas will fit right in. This is an emerald tree boa. They are from South America, and this one is captive bred, which is why I'm able to hold it, because the wild ones are highly defensive. And it has very a very striking coloration and pattern, being green with the white stripes. And because it's very docile and looks amazing, the emerald tree boa is the craziest snake at the show. Natasha Romanov's favorite record. Florida box turtle. They're from Florida and this one is captive born because it's actually illegal to catch them from the wild and they don't get their hinges like other box turtles until they're about three or four years old. And it has a really cool shell pattern and for all those reasons the Florida box turtle is the craziest turtle at the show.
This is a fairly big hypo common snapping turtle. These are baby electric eels. In the wild, electric eels get eight feet long. In captivity, they get to more five, four feet long. And at this size, they are not dangerous if you get shocked. And they eat small things in the, and they're not actually eels. They are knife fish. And they eat, at this size, they will eat worms. And when they get bigger, they'll start eating fish and other things. And what's really cool about them is that they can actually breathe air and survive in very little water. And because it's so shocking to see them, this is the craziest other creature at the show. Now I'm going to get shocked by a baby electric eel. Take your time. Take them out. I got things already rated for all this stuff. <laughs> it tickles. These turtles were vying for the best basking spot in the tub. This is a full-grown female rhino iguana. I had a great time at the Battlefield Reptile Expo in Gettysburg, PA, and there was a lot of cool animals. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Collins Crazy Creatures.